So today I'll be making red chicken broth and red chicken noodle soup from the official Vault Dwellers cookbook. Now the recipe calls for one whole chicken, but I couldn't find them. So I got a package of some chicken thighs. It's the most flavorful cut of the chicken anyway. Um, it's got the skin, the bone, and the meat, so that's all you need to make broth. Now, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and then season your chicken pretty liberally with salt and pepper. Um, this will this will add like a really good flavor profile to your broth, so that'll be super important. Now, this is a really medicinal based recipe between the salt and the celery, garlic, ginger, lemongrass, cinnamon, and parsley, along with the acidity that the tomato paste will add. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be roasting this at 400 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes. I'm placing everything skin side down so that way it can render the skin properly and kind of get some of that fat to seep out because we'll be using the chicken fat later in the recipe. I also really enjoy the cut of chicken thighs so it'll be really easy for me to just pull the bone out, pull the skin off, and shred the meat for everything so it'll be Gucci. And the roasting, what it does is it gives it a really superb flavor profile. It really takes up everything a notch. So it'll, um, it'll enhance the flavors quite a bit. Now, next thing I'm doing here is I'm just um, chopping up some onions. Uh, you can't really cook without onions. Just the flavor profile, you just can't do it. Um, I'll just be keeping them in quarters because when you're roasting, I want them to roast. I don't want them to burn. So when they're in quarters, they're not going to burn, which is what you want. You can leave like the top on, the root on, and the paper on because we're going to end up straining out the broth, but I just personally don't like to leave those parts in my broth because they tend to touch the earth, but that's just my own personal preference. It's not anything that you have to do. Now, as you can see, um, I have a little tube here of uh, lemongrass paste because I could not find like fresh lemongrass in the store so this will suffice enough for me um, I'll be using probably about three tablespoons give or take to equate the two lemongrass stalks that the recipe calls for And then it also calls for a three inch piece of ginger. I'm just kind of uh, cutting it into some planks just so that way it will release more flavor into the broth versus if I just threw the whole thing in with the skin on. The recipe calls for three celery ribs, but these guys are kind of short, so I just doubled it up. And then I'm just cutting it up into smaller pieces again so that the flavor can disperse more while roasting. And 
and then it just goes into a 400 degree oven for one hour and 15 minutes. I have some hot water running here so that I'm not shocking the food if I pour cold water on top of it. And this is what it'll end up looking like. We've got a little bit of char, a lot of the fat is rendered, and the chicken is roasted up really nicely. I'll be adding about two to three quarts of water here in the beginning. Um, but I think in total I used four quarts because one, I had a lot of chicken and two with the evaporation of the whole simmering process. So I'm adding two quarts here now and then I'll be adding probably another quart about halfway through the whole simmering process. And my little ramekin here, I have uh, um, one teaspoon of sugar. And what that sugar is going to do is it's just going to cut out some of the acidity of the tomato paste. And it's gonna, you're just gonna mix it up in a little bowl just so that way it can disperse a little bit easier throughout your broth. So, tomato paste, sugar, and then I'm adding a little bit of warm water to it, and then I'm just stirring it up until I feel comfortable enough with the consistency of being able to pour it into the broth and having it incorporate. So I'm just going to be simmering this uncovered for hmm, probably four or five hours until everything is rendered. Probably about two or three hours in, I'll add another quart of water. And then I will be straining everything out of the broth. I'll be separating the chicken and the veggies. I'll discard the veggies, but I'll keep the chicken and discard the skin and the bones. And of course you cannot forget the garlic. It calls for six cloves. I don't have cloves. I just use a jar in my house because I'm a garlicaholic. Um, the recipe also calls for one bunch of parsley. I don't really care for the taste of parsley. Some people think that cilantro tastes like soap. That's kind of how I feel about parsley. So I'm using basil instead because I really like the flavor profiles of basil and it also has really great medicinal properties. So I'm just picking through some of the bunches that I had left over. Now once your broth has uh, refrigerated overnight and you've got everything strained, what's in my blue Dutch oven is really what you'll be getting. Um, all the fat will separate to the top. All you need to do is just scoop it off and then I've put it in my black pot here. And to make the soup, I've got um, some celery some carrots and some onion. I have about half an onion to one onion depending on your size of your onion. Three more celery ribs except I did six because mine were small. And I'm adding a tablespoon of thyme and I'm going to be sauteing those in the chicken fat with some salt and pepper until they're a little bit steamy and tender. This is just helping to build some flavor profiles. Um, and this is why you season each step with salt and pepper as well. It, it builds that flavor, makes things really immaculate. And then here's all my chicken all separated from the bones and the skin. You're probably going to end up with more meat if you use thighs like I did. Um, less meat with a whole chicken. The recipe if you use a whole chicken just wants you to keep the breast meat, nothing else. Um, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So I'm just going to be sauteing the veggies and the chicken fat until they're nice and tender. And then I will be adding the chicken to the same pot just to saute a little bit. We'll be seasoning the chicken with um, some star anise. And the recipe calls for garlic powder, but I poured some of my garlic olive oil into the pan. So that's what I'll be using. And then one teaspoon of paprika along with some more salt and pepper. Now this recipe for the chicken noodle soup also calls for one 10 ounce can of young green jackfruit in brine. But I went to three different grocery stores and I could not find it, so I don't really know how they would have it in the vault. But if you are lucky enough to find it, I will post the recipe in my description, so that way there's written instructions. 
but I couldn't find it. Um, I didn't find it on Amazon, but it was pretty pricey. It was like $25 for three cans. So I just didn't really find it responsible for me to buy that when I could just double up on the chicken like what I did here. So I'm just going to saute everything until I feel like all of the fat has been absorbed into the food. And then I will be transferring it into my stock pot or my Dutch oven over there. And I'll be simmering it until the veggies are fork tender and they're kind of falling apart and everything is just super, super tender. Now, some people like to cook their noodles in the broth. I personally don't. I like to be able to control the consistency of my noodles without them getting gummy or anything like that. So what I do is I cook my noodles separately in some salted water and then I just, I'll, I'll serve mine over um, a bowl of noodles. So you're going to want to put the lid back on or you can do it uncovered if you're brave. Um, but you're just going to simmer everything until it's fork tender and gorgeous like you can see here. And as you can see I have my noodles on the side and you just serve over noodles and it's that easy. So in the book it says that it's in the Child of Adam's official religious text. <laughs> Chicken noodle soup, healing the nuclear soul. I really enjoyed the flavor profiles on this and how it was a little bit different and a little bit more medicinal than traditional chicken noodle soup. So I would definitely recommend this recipe and um, I think that you'll enjoy it too. Thank you.